Just when I thought that the real housewives of Lagos are cool, calm, and sweet, the spirit of anger struggled in, ogged Yabojo, ogged Mariam, and pronounced drama. Next on the real housewives of Lagos. Guys, geez, episode 11 was not what I was expecting. Can't somebody, a viewer like me, Settle down and watch these women do interesting and wonderful things without drama. You see, from the start of this episode till the middle point, even more than the middle point, it was all interesting, all fun, and it was nice seeing the ladies bond, especially Mariam and Chioma, arguing and sorting out their issues. But drama struck. Drama struck again. Iyabo Ojo and Laura started arguing and Iyabo wanted to beat Laura. Hey, why do women like fighting? Why? Why do women feel that they need to beat the other person they are fighting with or in an argument with to prove a point? Iyabo Ojo was not calm. Chioma was even trying to calm her down holding her hands. But Iyabo flew Chioma. Chioma was on the floor. Guys, episode 11 is another epic episode. Why would Iyabo want to beat up Laura Ikeji Kano? Why? The truth hurts, Habi. She's calling uh, Laura fake, manipulative, but she herself is the real fake person. She herself is the real manipulative person because she was the one that triggered this whole thing you know at some point if you watch that scene over and over again you'd observe that laura was even playful about it you know she was playful about it she turned it to play but yabo kept poking and poking laura she kept poking laura until laura triggered <laughs> laura the peacemaker triggered <laughs> now wow hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be talking about the highlights of episode 11 of the real housewives of lagos guys we are drawing close to the end of this season and um, i can't lie i would miss watching these women although i won't miss their drama but i'll miss seeing them on my screen it's beautiful to watch these women do wonderful things but you see when they bring that their ugliness that their ugly character kai he stinks so guys i'll be talking about them and the last episode the finale is episode 12 but i can't wait for the reunion <laughs> i feel that the reunion is going to be power packed it's going to be a lot will be unraveling a lot of things so i can't wait for that and so yes guys i would be talking about episode 11 in this video so kindly subscribe to the channel you know the drill kindly subscribe kindly click on the like button and kindly share your thoughts about the episode 11 in the comment section below so where did all this drama start from it started from chioma's event so it was Laura's idea that Chioma had a vacation with all the ladies so that they can iron things out, you know, make it straight. <laughs> Chioma agreed to that only for Chioma to not book Mariam's room. Although she said that she did not expect Mariam to come, you know. But on the next day, drama struck. <laughs> so Chioma organized games for the women and she was at that room where they would have the games so she was seated quietly pressing her phone mariam strolled in sat down the both of them just said hello hi and they sat down they were not talking with each other until mariam decided to break the ice and she told chioma that she was sorry for what she said and chioma never reciprocated the apology at first Chioma was like she did not care because <laughs> she did not feel that the apology from Mariam was genuine. At the 
time when these ladies were talking, Iabo just strolled in, uh, uh, Tanya strolled in, Laura was there, uh, except from Faith Mori. Iabo tried to settle the issues between uh, Mariam and Chioma. She urged Chioma to apologize to Mariam because Chioma was so stubborn and adamant. She was like, she was not going to apologize to Mariam because she felt that uh, it was because Iabo spoke to her that she realized that what she said was wrong. And Choma was like, she was not going to apologize because she did not do wrong to Mariam. And I'm like, Chioma, hmm. Chioma, you go, oh, stubborn, oh, lagidi. So uh, I, I was just happy that at the end of the day, Yabo was the bigger person. She showed that, yes, she's an adult and she settled the issues that Mariam and Chioma had. And I was very happy with Yabo. You know, at that point, I'm like, yes, this is the queen that I've always liked from day one. You know, I was like, yes, this is um, Yabo's bragging rights right there, you know. Until she threw that bragging crown inside fire. She threw it inside the fire when she started triggering Laura Ikeji. So, after uh, Mariam and Chioma settled their issues, they hugged because there was a particular question because you know they had the truth and their game so there was a particular question that mariam was to answer during this game and that question brought tears to her eyes it was something of the past something of her childhood and she cried and chioma was there to comfort her they hugged and i was like yes this is it this is what i'm talking about women supporting women this i, I love i love seeing things like this eh? this is it now this is what we are talking care and even um Chioma did not have any bad thing to say as regards her hugging mariam in her private sessions you know in the one-on-one -on -one sessions and i was just so excited about that and that just sealed it up for me so um there was another question thrown at mariam for her to talk about the second person she was not happy with in the group which was fate mori and she started talking about you know defending fate mori this 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 blah 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 and fate corrected her in fact fate told her bluntly that she should not say that she should keep quiet that she should not think for her you know fate cleared the hair that and told her a truth while faith was talking laura hijacked the conversation from faith and laura started talking and saying that people should stop saying that she's best friends with faith she just knew faith for five months that people that the other housewives should just understand that and stop forcing faith to call her whenever she's not a part of the group blah 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 and then from nowhere yabo just started talking oh laura you are manipulative you are fake you are this you are that i say ha ele magidi go kill ele bye yojo calm down now ah, ah. she was not talking to you what is this in my mind oh guys that was what i was saying i can be a bully mm -hmm. if laura thinks i'm a bully to her so be it. Waiting be this. Waiting be this. See, guys, I I am I am so disappointed. I have been disappointed at Yabo. And I am so 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 disappointed again in this episode. She said that whatever she does not like, she bullies. Ah, that statement was heavy. So that means that all along she has been intentional about bullying Faith Mori. Because she does not like the girl. And you see, Faith Mori is just a reserved queen. She hardly talks. Even during the, uh, during the altercation when Laura was shouting and talking back at Iriabo, she was telling Laura to calm down, holding Laura, you know. That's a peacemaker right there. That's a queen right there. But you see this Iriabo, Joe. Kai, this one, eh, later she will say that Mariam needs deliverance. Is she not the one that needs deliverance like this? Tanya, the CC yellow CC Kupa. <laughs> Guys, a madness. I'm beginning to see a madness. So she truly has madness. But you see, the madness that Tanya has is the hidden madness, the sneaky madness. She is truly a green snake under the green grass. Laura said it, and I'm saying it here. She's truly because she was uh telling Mariam to be calm, 
telling Mariam sorry, you know, when Mariam was sober, crying after sharing her memories. And Tanya was doing like this. She was yimwin. <laughs> That's what I call it. She was bending her nose, saying sorry. Sorry, I say her. This Tanya, green, the greenest of them all. She and Dr. Romel should marry because they fit themselves. Come out clean. I don't like you. Tell the person I don't like you because of this, this, this. Be, be, be open. Don't be, don't be like this. Ah, God, I hate people like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't like people like that. Tanya was cautioned by Faith Mori in the next episode and all more men. I can't wait to watch that episode because I know it will be fire. Tanya needs to understand that it is bad to behave in that way. So guys, moving away from the shenanigans, the drama. <laughs> Let me talk about the good news, you know, some, you know, interesting things that happened. Uh, Laura revealed that she's pregnant. Right now, I think she has given birth, or I'm not too sure, but she revealed that she's pregnant and that she would not walk down the aisle with her husband. <laughs> but I don't know why she said she wouldn't walk down the aisle with, with her husband because she's pregnant. She before the pregnancy, she already has two kids, right? And walking down the aisle with two kids says a lot, right? It's the same thing with her being pregnant, guys. Or am I missing out something here? Because I'm I, I see no reason why she should not walk down the aisle despite being pregnant. Guys, are you are you pondering what I'm pondering or am I missing out something? Well, guys, tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. So, um, at the start of this episode, um, SODK and Chioma went to see Paul O. And SODK walked in like a gentleman, like Chioma's boyfriend. And they met with Paul O and Iyabo and they had interesting discussions. Iyabo was spoken SO, asking him, oh, you are this. Okay, who are you? Um, what movies have you starred in? Blah, blah, blah. Asking jam questions. Unreasonable questions. Jeez. Anyways, guys, I'll be running up this video here. You know, I don't like it too long and boring. I want it short, short and simple. So that is why I've just brought the highlights for you to watch, enjoy and talk about. And let's discuss about it. So guys, share your thoughts with me in the comment section below what you think about episode 11 of The Real Housewives of Lagos. Kindly check out my previous videos. I talk about different reality TV shows, trending ones in Lagos, Nigeria, in Nigeria actually. <laughs> and I also talk about movies. So make sure you stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe once again and comment. See you on my next video. Bye for now.